Hey, Dad, be careful when you come home. We, uh, I think your box came in the mail for the truck. Honey, were you talking on the phone again when you were driving? Gotta go. Bye. Uh, no, I didn't even have it on me. <laughs> What's going on guys? This is Boy Maximum RPM coming at you with another video today. And uh my dad's truck finally arrived. So um I believe it was R Ep RC Epic Video Production who got it right. Um it's a TRX4 Sport. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the TRX4 Sport comes with um a lot of uh comes with a lot of things. Um it can take very steep angles due to the fact that the bumper is raised up. Um, you can have oil-filled shocks. Um, it doesn't have um, massive axles that stick down, or sorry, drive shafts that uh, stick down. Um, so you're not going to hang up on things. Full metal diffs. Um, it's got a metal transmission, metal gears inside the servo. And it has portal axles, which is one of the things that gives the TRX4 and the TRX Sport um, very good capability for just about anything. And the tires are very good. Um, you can pause the video, check out the specifications for length and all that stuff there. Um, we're just going to get right into it. Cool. Oh. How does this box work? This is a confusing box. So, after me being an idiot, we uh, found a spot. And there it is. Sorry, Ben. I tried to get him to go Team Blue, but... uh. You know, it's not going to be this way for long. We got plans for uh, a different body for it. So, I can see why everyone talks about these uh, tires. They're, uh, they're good. They're nice and soft, so they'll conform well. They got, um... The TRX4 and Sport have a extreme steering angle. Um... Should wait here. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to, um... Get all the stuff off of it and uh, get right to it. All right, so we're back. <laughs> this is the truck without any, um, without the body on it. And uh, I gotta say, the suspension is nice and plush, um, which will be good because you want good articulation. This is a 21 turn Titan 550. Um, seems pretty solid. The truck rolls nice and smooth, um, articulates nicely. Uh, this truck has quite a bit of promise. So we'll set this off to the side for now, and, uh, the body, um, has this plastic, uh, seal thing on it, um, I don't think it's on, no, it's not on the entire body, just all the parts that are exposed, the, uh, the tail, or the bed of the truck, the roof, and then the hood, so I think this actually looks really good, I'm not a huge fan of the color red, but I actually really like the way it looks. Um, so there's that. And uh, just set this off to the side. Um, and in the box also comes with um, a whole bunch of stickers and decals. Um, the operator's manual. Um, a wrench for your um, tires. Some spare Allen keys. And some extra body clips. So it comes with everything you need to get ready. This is a ready-to-run truck. Um, you just need to supply your own AA batteries for the transmitter. There are four of them, and your own battery for the truck. So Traxxas has their own style of connectors. Um, and I just noticed, while I was handed the truck to get it out of the way, there is an extra wear here, and I believe that is for body lighting. Yeah, so, um, Ben and, uh, 
Ben's the only one that comes to mind. Um, he runs lights on his TRX-4. Um, so that is super good for the people who are into the whole scale look thing. Um, me and my dad were not really into the whole super scale thing, but, you know, it's, it's just not our cup of tea, but it's it, there it, for... It's, it's cool to have the option. Um, so the truck is actually fairly well balanced, um, because it's got the receiver over here, or sorry, the, um, yeah, and your speed controller is over here, um, your battery is center mounted along with your motor, um, it's a fairly weighty truck, but it... <clears throat> I think it's just a little heavier than the Ascender. Might be a little lighter, I'm not quite sure. It has a fake winch on it, um, just for detail, but you can get different bumpers and stuff for if you want your winches and scale accessories. So here are Traxxas famous portal axles. I believe though, yeah, these links feel aluminum, um, but it looks, looks real solid, so, um, it's got a nice looking servo in there. It looks to be a real solid truck. Um, you can find a lot on the TRX-4 and TRX Sport. Um, the main difference between them is the TRX-4, um, it has all the same things as the Sport. I'm throwing styrofoam now. Um, but it has a two-stage transmission with high and low, and you can lock and unlock your diffs. Um, that's good for if you're just like kind of putting around and when you come to obstacles you can shift into the low gear and you can also um lock your diffs um so it's a very good truck it looks extremely capable um we will do a running video in a little bit of it also if we do some upgrades which we plan on um it will try to keep you guys up to date Again, we, we like doing stuff on, on a budget, um, and we've seen a bunch of stuff that other people have posted online, um, and we'll try to give credit if, if uh, we can uh, find the names and who posts the videos. Um, there's some where there's some uh, budget hacks for the front and rear bumper to draw them closer and raise them a little bit higher, um, and, and if we do those, we'll, uh, we'll point them out and try to let you know... Um, either through our video or through somebody else's video that's already done it, where you can find those. And uh, my camera's picking it up horribly, but it makes it look like the truck is pink. It honestly isn't. It is red. It's a very nice red. Um, but my camera, it's an old phone, has issues sometimes. Oh, but it's the light filter. So. Yeah. So uh, we're going to call that there, guys. That is the review of our TRX4 Sport. This is my dad's truck. The Ascender is mine. And... Uh, I got a battery on the charger now, and we're going to head out and make another video on uh, how it does. So that's about it, guys. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you get all my videos because I upload daily. Um, the old man got his first trail truck, and uh, we're going to see how it performs. Um, let us know if you guys have any suggestions down in the comments below for what we should do. Don't suggest what Kevin does and race it. It's going to be a trail truck. We're going to try to stick to the trail code. And I promise you that there are upgrades coming because, uh, uh, just spoiler alert, there's already a body here for the truck. Um, we just have to... Uh, Comment below what do you think it is. Um, what do you think the body is and uh, how do you think the paint job is going to be? Uh, if I do it, probably horrible, but we're going to... We're going to... Send it. We're going to try to show you guys uh, some some cool stuff and hopefully we do it right. So, uh, see you around, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope this video makes your day just a little bit better. Live life to the max and stay awesome.